Okay, just a quick little update. Moving along here, we got the uh, tray installed for the fill station for the smoke oil. So this turtle deck lid will flip over. I'll be able to fill up the smoke oil here. Uh, this vent line, we're also going to have a dipstick in it to check the levels to make sure that we're only putting the smoke oil in the tank and not keeping the smoke oil in the uh, fill line. So that will be a raised dipstick with a, uh, so it can still have uh, proper vent principles, but I'll also be able to check the fluid levels. I'll step over here real quick and show you that the, um, so the header tank and behind the header tank is the smoke oil tank. They're in, we're just doing the final fitting on the uh, fill line for the smoke oil. Uh, on the very top, you can see the battery tray is in. Uh, we just have the battery disconnected for right now, but it is in, secured, all new fuel lines, uh, replaced all the fuel lines. In fact, even the uh, these here, which probably a good thing, because this is uh, this kit fox was built in 2008, so it's probably <laughs> overdue for the fuel lines to be replaced anyway. Or I will say it was overdue because when we took these uh, view lines out they actually cracked. So really, uh, one of those things, you just kinda, you go, man, I, I should have gotten to this earlier, won't make that mistake again. Uh, fortunately, you know, we didn't, I never had any leaks, I never had any issues, I constantly checked everything, but uh, it is good practice to just go by the book, you know, if they say every, I believe it's every five years, um, around there you should really be doing good inspections and then probably re replacing fuel lines so i need to be better about that um i keep my planes hangered uh so i know that that does help it tends to, I, i've seen dramatic difference between uh, my hangered planes and some buddies that keep theirs tied down outside and when you when you tie them down outside especially in this uh southern california heat uh they just fall apart i mean things last half as long but yeah still a good idea to just keep an eye on all of those critical things but we are rocking and rolling the uh new panel got final fit yesterday it's off to the hydro dippers so should have that in a couple weeks and we are moving along so more to come uh final fit is done on the cowling so we're uh, today we're going to also work on the um, oil door and probably and then button up the um, smoke oil tank line fill line but other than that just uh, yeah it's definitely seeing forward progress more to come